All right, so we're ready for the massive road trip starting from here in Ewing, New Jersey. Today, first leg is by myself from my house in Ewing to Elkhart, Indiana, 676 miles. Should take us nine hours and 47 minutes. Now, I'm gonna be measuring the range of tank on this new 25 Sorrento Hybrid, as well as the average MPGs. So I have set on the dash, if you can see it, I have reset it now to zero before we start. And I have 574 miles of range and the estimated MPGs, I don't know if you can see this, is 34 in the city, 34 on the highway and 34 combined. So that's what we're going to be measuring on this massive road trip that will take us all the way out to Iowa to pick up my son, Jack from Iowa up to Minneapolis, St. Paul to pick up my wife who's flying in from Philly in a couple of days. And then we're gonna go through North Dakota, South Dakota, Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, and then start heading back home through Wyoming, Nebraska, Iowa, and then all the way back to New Jersey. Big trip, thousands of miles. We'll she ha see how she does. So let's get started. You can see I got the wireless Apple CarPlay all hooked up, my directions into my hotel for the night, all in there. Arrival right now, 4.53 p.m. And I have my phone, which I'm gonna lay in the wireless charging pad so it doesn't wear out all the way out running the Apple CarPlay. And we'll see how it goes, but this is not going to be a long video and we're not going to film 676 miles. So I'll be back with you probably as we get about halfway across Pennsylvania to give you an idea how the gas mileage and how the car is behaving out on the highway because this is really going to be a motorway highway test of the gas mileage. So I'll be back with you then. All right, we're back on and we are now halfway across the great state of Pennsylvania. We are in Bedford Springs, PA. And at mile marker 147. <clears throat> those of you who don't know, a little travel tip, the Omni Hotels and Resorts has this wonderful, historic and very haunted hotel in Bedford Bedford Springs, Pennsylvania called the Omni Bedford Springs and it's on a natural uh, spring and their indoor pool is fed by a natural spring horseback riding golf you know you name it uh, summertime activities wintertime activities my wife and I stayed there over Easter weekend uh, a few years back and it's a sensational hotel so if you're in New Jersey uh, northern, you know, northern Delaware, eastern PA. Four hours from my house in Ewing, New Jersey. You're at the Bedford Springs Hotel and Resort, and it's absolutely gorgeous. But as far as what we're doing here on the road trip, uh, I am about 220 miles now from my house. Had a, uh, a couple of bathroom stops. <laughs> And uh, we are averaging right now 29.5 miles per gallon. It's gone up, it's gone down. We struggled a bit when we were going across the Appalachian Mountains through the tunnels. That was a bit uh, uh, dicey as far as the gas mileage. Uh, hit a big accident, got stuck in traffic for about 45, 50 minutes. Uh, and of course that helped because then I was running on electric in this hybrid vehicle and I didn't use any gas. So that was a plus. So we're gonna continue to move across PA and I will check in with you when we get to the, the Ohio border. All right, so we are coming 
across the Ohio border pretty soon here, a mile ago. So, left the house five and a half hours ago. So, from Ewing, New Jersey to the Ohio border is going to just be a couple minutes over five and a half hours. And that's pretty darn good. Of course, most of that driving in the state of Pennsylvania. We got almost a 10 hour drive today and half of it is in Pennsylvania. Boy, that takes a long time to get through that state. But not half as bad as what it used to be when the speed limit was 55. That's for sure. There's our Ohio sign. Welcome to the heart of it all. And we're in Ohio. How about that? And now, I just clocked out of the Pennsylvania Turnpike toll. God knows how much that's going to be. Now I got to clock into the Ohio Turnpike toll. Gotta love these tolls. I'm going to have to look sometime on this trip at my Easy Pass account. See how much that toll across, all the way across Pennsylvania was. My guess is about 60, 70 bucks but we'll see. Maybe I'll be surprised in a good way or a bad way. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to get off up here at the next uh, rest area, get some go-go juice for the car, grab some lunch, and uh, I'll be back with you when we're getting uh, maybe halfway across to Ohio. should take about three hours to get across Ohio to the Indiana line. So I'll catch you in a little bit. So we're in Indiana. And uh, not much going on in Ohio. I know I said I checked back in about halfway through, but there just wasn't, wasn't much going on. So right now we're about 60, a little over 60 miles from our destination in Elkhart, Indiana. So far we've gone almost 602 miles, been on the road. 8 hours 47 minutes, averaging 30.3 miles per gallon, which is about 3.7 mpgs below the 34 mile per gallon rating on the highway for this vehicle. So it's operating a little bit below, uh, but it struggled uh, at elevation through the Appalachians in Pennsylvania, western Pennsylvania. Uh, once we got up to elevation, it went down to like 26, 27. Uh, but here out in the Midwest, since it's fairly flat, um, it's been it's been hovering right around 30.4. Now we're coming up to another easy pass, of course, because these turnpikes love to take your toll money, for sure. <laughs> We'll find out how much more expensive it was with through Pennsylvania than Ohio. I'm, I think I was going to guess 60 to 70 bucks in Pennsylvania. Ohio is probably a little bit cheaper because it's not as long, but I bet it's still expensive. But anyway, we'll check back in again when we get off at our exit one final time for the day one of the trip. So I'll see you in a little bit. Well, here I am at the hotel. I don't have my mic hooked up, so I'm using the external mic. But parked the car, went to dinner, and I had left something in the car. I came back out uh, to the car once I uh, left for dinner, and I noticed this wet spot under the car. And I'm thinking to myself, well, maybe that was already here when I parked. Well, look at that. Look at that. We got a leak, fluid leak, brand new 25 Sorrento. I didn't hit anything on the road. I don't see any damage to the plastic protection panels underneath the vehicle. But that pink fluid, that looks like transmission fluid to me. Let me know if you guys have any other ideas. I called the Kia dealer. A local Kia dealer, but they're closed already because it's past six o'clock at night. And uh, I left them a message to call me. Hopefully, they might be able to squeeze me in first thing in the morning. And uh, 
and try to take this panel down and find out what's leaking. Maybe it's something that's an easy fix. Um, but if it's not, on a brand new 2025 with probably parts scarce, this road trip could be over after a one day drive to Elkhart, Indiana. At this point, I'm really gutted about this because I wanted to see my son. I haven't seen him for a year, for crying out loud. This is the last friggin' thing I needed. I'll be back with you in the morning and give you the situation.